everyone. I am happy to be back. And uh, this month we have a surprise craft for you. And you will find in your bag uh, quite a few things. You'll have a picture frame, a piece of scrapbook paper, some embellishments of sorts, and some Mod Podge. So I'm going to give you a couple of options on how to take care of, of your frame so that you can enjoy it or, or pass it on to a friend. So I purchased um, just a 4x6 frame inside 4x6 uh, frame at the dollar store. So I know there's a price on the back. So I did just get this at the dollar store. It's just a cheap frame and I know a lot of times we get used to, to seeing this you know the picture or something around the frame thinking oh that's not that's not uh, my style of frame or this not anything that I would use so we're gonna change it into something that you would use so I went ahead and took the frame out of the package I'm gonna take the, um, the picture or the, the backing off with the cover the little plastic sheet I'm taking all that setting it aside because we don't need that right now so the um, next thing that I'm gonna do I now you can do a couple of things you can paint it whatever color you would like it will most likely take two coats um, or you can use your scrapbook paper inside the, your bag so I have my piece of scrapbook paper and all I did was lay my frame down on my on the back side of the paper. I traced around it and then cut it out so that now I have um, a nice design paper and I can use the frame to go either directions for this particular style of paper. But you can always use whatever color works for you. So I am going to just Mod Podge this on, decoupage, what we call it. If you don't have Mod Podge or you don't have enough, that's okay. You can use just some watered down Elmer's glue. This just um, is a little bit easier. So I'm going to put some, a nice thin coat of Mod Podge on the frame. So I'm just not getting it on the outside just putting it on the top of the frame. Oh, that's, that'd be helpful if I moved that out of your way, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to um, put this on the Mod Podge on the top. Okay, that looks a little bit easier. Just need a thin coat. You don't need a whole lot. Then I'm going to take my scrapbook paper place it on top of my picture frame and I'm going to line up all of my um, all of my edges. Now I have a piece of saran wrap but you can use the um, plastic bag that, that your items came in and I'm just going to lay it on top so that I can rub it across so that I get a good adhesion and I'm only doing this so that I don't get glue all over my hands and it makes it a little bit easier I know sometimes when um, when you put the glue which I'm getting ready to put glue on top so once I got it stuck down to my frame I'm going to go back and put some glue on the top and I know that when um, you get ready to stamp it down or or make sure that it's sealed okay sometimes your fingers get stuck to the paper and it can rip the paper so the uh, plastic either the, the garbage bag or their saran wrap will help keep that from happening and so you want to make sure that you get the um, you get the glue just a nice even coat Breast strokes going in the same direction would be awesome. This makes it look nicer. And it may bubble up at first and that's okay. It will dry. Um, so we're gonna take our, our plastic wrap again and we're going to just use it to wipe, wipe 
snip it down, get some of those, um, some of the edges a little bit cleaner. It just makes it adhere better and less mess on your hands. So, all right. So now we're just gonna discard that. I got glue all over the table. Okay. And so if I were to start working with this right now, um, you can see that I have uh, some bubbles here, but if I work too much, it's going to stick to my finger and then I'll, I could rip the paper. So just making sure that I get everything stuck down. If you get finished and you realize that, you know, maybe you don't have the cleanest lines that you want, um, you can always turn it over on the back side once it dries and use an X-Acto knife and get that cleaned up a little bit better if, if that's um, concerning to you. All right, so we'll get that out of the way. And then you also have some, a couple of things that you need to do is decide which direction you would like your frame to go. So um, it will hold just a regular four by six paper, uh, picture that you would get printed, let's say at um, Walgreens or CVS or someplace like that. And you just need to decide which direction you want your picture to go. I have some embellishments here. I put some in your packages as well. I have used, um, for this particular one, I just wanted a more of a natural color, but I used, you have silk flowers in yours, buttons, sequins, you can use a variety of different things. These are some scrapbook uh, petals that you can get at the store. And I'm gonna use a couple, and I'm gonna stagger the petals so that it looks more three-dimensional. And I also have some buttons, and I just used yellow, but you could use any color you'd like. There's a little bit of orange in this paper. You could use a cream color, black, anything like that. Brown would be awesome. I also have my glue gun, so I'm ready to stick my uh, flowers together. And I am going to just um, put these down. And I, like I said, I wanted to have a couple on top of each other so that it's more three-dimensional. So if you can see here, I staggered the petals so that they're not right on top of each other. So it sticks up a little bit better. And I'm just gonna go in and add a button on this one. And if you want, you could always get some ribbon and add that. I have a couple of others here that I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put three on. I'm gonna, I think I wanna put this kind of underneath or behind the other one. So it's, you can decide as you're doing it, you can decide um, ahead of time. It's gonna overlap, as you can see here. That's gonna overlap into your picture, which is okay, because most likely there's not a lot of design down here at the bottom that you would um, need to be concerned about. said than done. All right. You could also go all the way around. Um, sorry about that. You can also go all the way around your frame if you wanted. Now these two flowers don't have the same style of petals, but if you put them together, you really don't notice. It makes kind of a different style of flower, which I really like. You could always add um, a ribbon. You could add, you could paint and add different designs with your paint.
just going to add three different flowers on here. is what mine looks like. Now I can get my picture, get my frame uh, put back together. If you wanted to, um, you could. If you don't like the way uh, the color is on the side, once you get your scrapbook paper on there and you don't like it, I've got glue everywhere, um, you can always you can always go back um, with a marker with the Sharpie and make it a different color. If you wanted your edge to be gold or silver, you can get a, a Sharpie and make it whatever color you'd like. Something that matches. So, um, okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy your picture frame and maybe you will be able to uh, go on vacation and find a nice picture that you can put in there from your vacation. So I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a good day.